بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ان ٹو ڈیز ٹیٹوریل آئی ول ٹیچ یو ہاؤ ٹو کریٹ اے ڈائنامک کراس ان سنیما فور ڈی یوزنگ ڈیفالٹ ہیئر سسٹم سو لیٹس گیٹ اسٹارٹیڈ فرسٹ ول ٹیک اے پلین اینڈ جسٹ کیپ ڈیفالٹ سیگمنٹس اینڈ میک اٹ ایریٹیبل اوکے اینڈ دین ول گو ٹو سملیٹ ہیئر آبجیکٹس add here and now we'll change some parameters here in attribute editor first we go to we select the here system and we go to the guides and we reduce the length let's make it like 15 or 20 okay and then we want it to be not only on vertex we want it to be on polygon area and then from here also we want it to be on polygon area i think it's not affecting i don't know why yeah so redo and we go anyways so this is now we just increase number of guides Uh, like suppose 1000 okay and uh, and come to here we have polygon area already okay and then let's see how it looking in the render click render let me dock this to the side here click render again come here change the color to green the color of the cross somewhat like this also in specular we make it like greenish okay and let's see how's it looking in the render Okay. I think it is fine somewhat. We are not too much focusing on the colors. We uh, our main our primary focus is on the simulation of the dynamics. Uh, our primary focus is how to make a dynamic uh, grass. Okay. Then we come back to the hair system and we will just go to the force section and we remove the gravity make it zero. And uh, then after that uh, so now we press play and we see nothing is happening before going to the dynamic simulation i would like to change something i will add friends if i will you can see see it become like more dynamic and looking like more like a cross and also i will add some kink also on the edge and make this like 5% and really it will have more like a twist oh, it's very less okay and also if you want to add more grass you can have uh, cloning you can come to the here section and here you can make five so it will clone the same grass around the same area and you have like more grass now let's reduce it to two and also let's increase a little bit the height okay i think it is pretty much fine just one thing i want this space to be dark and this to be brighter a bit more okay so now what we'll do is uh, we come here to the simulate particle and turbulence as soon as we add turbulence and we press place you can see the grass is already moving okay we just increase our timeline to 500 frames increase the more area so you can see it it's dynamically moving already 
okay. Yeah. Now on top of it we want to the grass to be reacted with some objects. So for that one you create another sphere. Okay. And let's suppose we take it to here and to this place. And we just put it like above little bit above the our grass area and then we we'll just come here like uh, we add we we'll make it rigid body make it rigid body and press play so you'll see it is just going down and passing through the plane so we need to make it this plane which is ground to make it a collider body so we come here simulation tags make it collider body and press play so now it's reacting okay second thing we want it to be moved in x direction you can see this x axis we want it to be moved on x axis what you will do is you just come here you select this uh, tag uh rigid body tag and come to dynamics and from here we click custom initial velocity so you can have like options here so let's suppose i want it to travel it in 100 centimeter you can see it's already rolling now this is what we want now we want the grass to be reacted with this one so when it is ro uh, rolling uh, on top of the grass the grass is actually reacting with the wear of the ball so what we'll do is we'll just come here select the sphere and we'll make it we go to the hair tags and make it hair collider so now if you see come here closely when it falls down it's actually also pressing the grass okay and if you notice one thing if i'll come so you can see the grass is actually passing through this one so what we have to do is we have to make this floor also collider to the grass so we'll come here hair tags hair collider and let's see what happens now see now it's not no, no more collapsing so come here okay you can see that it's reacting to the grass okay let's send it one frame see it's looking like it's reacting now Uh, for more clarity, we'll just add some physical sky. See how it looks in the render. So, I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any comments, if you have any question, feel free to ask, and you can uh, post comments below the video. And inshallah, soon you will have more uh, advanced tutorials of Cinema 4D. Thank you.